Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about My Bloody Valentine. 3D, the remake. Is it awful, or is it even better than the original? Let's find out today on Hack the Movies. Oh my god, Casey, hello. Hey, Tony. It's another Valentine's Day. That's right. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah, last year we were both <laughs> single talking about the mm -hmm. movie Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> now you're in a very happy relationship. Oh, thank you, I am. And I'm not. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, yes. I went on a date with that really cute nurse. Mm -hmm. She said she wanted to see me again, and I never heard from her again. But that's okay, because I saw that Italian girl. I was seeing her for a little bit. Right, And right. she said she couldn't wait to talk to me when she got back from her vacation. That was in August. She never talked to me again. <sighs> Ladies, come on now. It's their loss, Tony. My Bloody <laughs> Valentine 3D <laughs> is directed by Patrick Lussier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you... Tony, I have a Valentine for you. What? Oh. This is for you. Wait, what the? Yes. Oh. So shout out to my sister who just got engaged. Her oh. birthday Everyone, is on Everyone's Valentine's. just finding happiness, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> and that's what we did. We gave those out. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And yeah. I'm so happy for her and not full of jealous rage. <laughs> Everything's going great. Everything's going great. Ooh. We're all going to be good. We're going to be good, kings. All right? <laughs> all the hack right. all the single hack -ups. We're all going to be fine. I'm going to stay single just to relate to you, okay? <laughs> Not like Casey, okay? I'm going to stay single to relate to you guys. In God's perfect timing. So yes, Casey, I decided for Valentine's Day to put a bunch of pink around. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of pink things, so I did the lights. <laughs> and I've been buying all these pink Godzillas for the new uh, Godzilla movie coming out. Very Godzilla appropriate. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire by Adam Wingard. Nice. For some reason, he wanted to make Godzilla pink. But I think we need more pink lights. More pink. If you could see this right now if you're not watching. I've been buying a lot of toys because I've been single for two years. Anyway, uh, <laughs> My Bloody <laughs> Valentine 3D. A remake of My Bloody Valentine from 1980? 81. Yes, directed by... Did you write it down? I, I forgot. have no idea. Ah, I forgot to write it I down. I don't know who directed the remake. <laughs> that I do know. Um, I said it earlier when I was crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, the original one. I haven't watched the original one much. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly think I saw the remake first, so maybe that's colored my viewing a little bit. Uh, but I went back last night, mm -hmm. and I bought it because it's not streaming anywhere. I bought it, too. Yeah, I, I, I decided to buy instead of rent. I'm like, I feel like I'd watch this. It was lot. on sale. Oh. It was on sale. Yeah. And also, like, their rental was $4.30, and it was four ninety nine <laughs> to buy. Yeah. So. Why not? Bought um. It. Yeah, so uh watch it last night. It's a solid slasher. Mm -hmm. It's still very early in the slasher genre, like post-Halloween, post-Friday the 13th. Exactly. Um, it's it's kind of all over the place in some places. Like, I, I still don't understand the beginning with him killing that girl. Yeah, it's a very goofy movie. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. But the first blurb, because I watched it on Amazon, yeah. says that it's Quentin Tarantino's favorite slasher <laughs> ever. <laughs> I can see that. So that's the only trivia I know for this one. Uh, but yeah, it's a very simple slasher film. It's got some cool scenes in it. I like the creepy bartender. Oh, me too. He's yeah, like my favorite. Whenever he's telling the story of right. Harry Warden, like does all that dramatic. That's when I really got into it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it's a very cool movie. So the story of that one was mm -hmm. there was a cave-in uh, because everyone at this town wanted to go to the dance. Not a school dance, just a town dance. Not like Footloose. <laughs> I guess this is a thing that used to happen. <laughs> I've never heard yeah, of this. Yeah, they banned dancing. <laughs> That's right. Kevin Bacon didn't make his way there yet. <laughs> no, but I never heard of just like a town hall dance. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of that? No. Yeah. Now that's... That I think about it. No. Yeah, because I'm like, oh wait, a school dance. I'm like, well, why would the adult minors right. want to go to the school? I'm like, oh, it's just a weird town hall dance. I'm uh -huh. like, okay. And these minors were so excited to go to the dance, they didn't check <laughs> uh, to see if anyone was behind. 
And then there was a cave-in. There were so many people left yeah. behind. It was the people who oversaw it, I yeah. thought, yeah. who just left them. They just left To them. go to the dance. I thought they were, like, supervising the dance. Yeah. But keep <laughs> in mind, this is after there's already a murder where a minor impales a naked girl. What? Yeah, in the very, very, very... I just thought that was, like, an opening scene. Yeah, but that, I don't know where that scene's supposed to exactly. take place. Exactly. It started out like a porno. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you think you're watching. That it honest- totally got me. <laughs> I honestly think they were like, we need an opening kill yeah. to shoot anything. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the bunch of miners got caught uh, in this cave-in. Mm-hmm. You find out that one of them had to turn to cannibalism. To survive. Harry Warden or Warren? Yep. Warden. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then he wanted revenge on the people responsible and he killed them on Valentine's Day, and then they threw him in a mental asylum. Yep. And now this is like years and years. Like 20 years later. 20 years later. Uh, the town has decided they're going to do the Valentine's Day <laughs> town hall dance again. Yes. And Harry's upset by this. He is he so doesn't sad. doesn't like this. No. And Harry mm-hmm. comes back, and uh, most of the movie, and I, again, I haven't seen the original too much, so I had like false memories of it. Right. When I was watching it last night, I'm like, wow, a lot of this movie's at the mine. Like, I'm used to the remake where they're jumping around Everywhere. different locations. I'm like, oh, they're just mostly at the mine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. It's what it is, though. Yes, yes. It makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so the miner, Harry Warden, is going around just killing all the kids, partying at the mine. Yep, these annoying teenagers yes are very. they even teens like you I know think what they're in college or something the thing is movies from the 80s and 70s i think they were just casting people who were too old to be playing teens yeah. or maybe that's just what teens looked like back then yeah and they know. are they're all minors yeah minors minors not not <laughs> cave mud. no they are those minors there's both sets of miners in this. <laughs> Chill teens. They're these miners. Teens and coal miners. Yeah. Um, yeah, then it leads to a fun twist at the end. I love the twist. That's tied to the love triangle. We'll talk about the twist when we get to the twist in the remake. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's, again, very simple movie. Uh, I have some issues with the twist or I'm like, uh, okay, mm-hmm. I guess that happened. Uh, there's a fun final girl. There is a fun final. And I girl. thought she was so beautiful throughout the entire movie. She was good looking. Yeah. Cuz everyone all the guys were ugly. I don't know. <laughs> the one guy, the 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 nice guy who left town and came back. I thought he was a handsome dude. He had he the ascot and the unbuttoned shirt. That was a look. I'm going to bring that look back. <laughs> Creep me out. Everyone else not so much. No. Uh, although I did like that the uh, fat mustache guy had a nice looking girl of his own. Yeah. <laughs> the this 80s. One. You could just do that back then. The 80s. And this one was shot in Canada. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it became like a cult classic. For some reason, I don't think it has sequels. I'm pretty sure it's just no, that one. It's just the one. Yeah, it's weird that didn't take off as like, a franchise. I think they tried to uh-huh. make a remake, but uh, not a remake. I yeah. think they tried to do a second one. Okay. And that's when the remake came into play. Well, that would have been way later, though. I'm surprised, like, in the 80s, they weren't pumping these out. I'm Very sure it did point. well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, yeah, fast forward. Fast forward. To 2009. Yep. I, I saw this in theaters with a bunch of my friends who were all <laughs> girls at the time. I don't, That's who I was hanging out with at the yep. time. A bunch of girls from high school that I was still friends with in college. They were like, hey, we're going to go see... My Bloody Valentine. And I went, well, that looks stupid. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I don't know if I saw it in theaters because it is R. Mm. At the time, I wasn't 18 yet. But I do have the what, DVD. you didn't just take a parent? A parent no, didn't No, never. Grandparent didn't take you? I would never ask them to go with me to that. Oh, my grandparents took me to rated R movies. Yeah, no. Without even asking me if I wanted to see them or not. <laughs> Famously, I was like Starship Troopers. My grandfather's like, hey, I heard there's a scene where two bugs rip a guy in half. We're going to go see it. I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm that. S- I'm six. I guess I'm going with you. You remind me of that movie, Two Bits. Have you seen that? I haven't seen that. What? Oh, my gosh. Al Pacino. Pretty sure he's in it. I haven't seen it. Oof. That's a good one. I'm sure you haven't seen some movies. I haven't seen it. Have you seen Abraxas? A what? (laughs) Don't watch Abraxas. (laughs) We'll have to see Two Bits. Okay. This is a Two Bits review. We're going to pause and we're going to watch Two Bits. It's so special. Okay. Anyway, sorry. 
Um, yeah, so they remake it with Lionsgate, mm -hmm. who was uh, real hot on the Saul franchise. Yeah, and they got Patrick Lucier or Lucier. I think it's Lucier, mm -hmm. director of Dracula 2000, nice. which I reviewed with Joey C. recently. Miss him. Probably one of his better movies, this one here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one? Yeah. Out of oh, that's a movie I haven't seen, Dracula 2000. Oh, yeah. Well, you've definitely seen a movie he wrote later on. Mm -hmm. Terminator Genesis. Uh huh. I have seen that. That movie was awful. Yeah. I yep. like, yeah, I like Dark Fate better. Sorry. No, Dark Fate was more boring. I at least no. had fun yelling at Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a worst. We have a Dracula 2000 episode. And we have a What is the Worst Terminator episode. And I'm about to plug another episode because it has writer Todd Farmer who wrote Jason X. Yeah. He's Todd also Farmer. He also plays the bald... Yeah. Curvy boyfriend in this. I he, know. I was watching this movie with my boyfriend. Yeah. Sorry. He usually <laughs> casts himself as asshole boyfriends in these movies because he they these two also did Drive Angry mm -hmm. with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. And he's dating Amber Heard in that one. And I think he's cheating on her and whatnot. Yeah. Well, we were watching it. And when his cameo comes up, I'm like, oh, there's the writer. <laughs> and because I was like, gosh, when I saw his name come on the screen, I'm like, I feel like I've met that guy. And then I had to like go back onto YouTube when mm. I worked for Adam Green. Yeah. And I typed in his episode for Adam Green's Scary Sleepover. And then I scrolled to the credits. I'm like, oh, yep, there's there's my name. Like, I was an assistant on this episode. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a really cool guy, though. It's so funny that the people, the, the scariest people, like, that mm. write this stuff and, like, Kane Hodder and all this, but yeah. they're the nicest people ever. This one was filmed in Pennsylvania. It was? Yeah. I didn't know this fun fact. Yeah, I, I didn't know either until I was looking it up. It said like around like Pittsburgh and whatnot, which of one of that bridge did look pretty familiar, the bridge that they were shooting I've on. I've never been to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's fun. I want to go. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this does look like a Pennsylvania town if you ever go up in that area. Okay. Uh, outside of like Philly and Bucks County. Yeah, they, all the towns the start sticks. to look like this. Huh? It looks like the sticks. Yes. Uh, so that's pretty cool that mm -hmm. they filmed it around here. Um, that was like a thing, like 2000, like seven to like 2010. I, there was like something weird in Pennsylvania with like tax breaks. So a lot of movies yes, were shooting I here. I remember that. Yeah. Like, um, a Mark Wahlberg movie shot here. Transformers two oh, was shot my here. Gosh. Yeah. That was like a weird thing that was happening. Gary, for yeah. I totally remember that. Special effects by Gary J. Tunacliffe, who also did Dracula 2000. He also did a lot of the effects for the Hellraiser sequels. Uh -huh. And he even wrote two and directed one of the worst Hellraiser movies ever. The last two before the remake. Mm -hmm. I don't he, like them. He wrote, directed, and starred in the last one. The remake is so much better than those. Um, and if you'd like to know more about Hellraiser, we got that bonus show on Patreon. <laughs> Casey, this movie made history. It did? It was the first wide-released rated R movie in 3D. <laughs> we got to put our 3D glasses on. Because for the patrons right now, this segment will be in VR 183D. So get your headsets on. Sign up for Patreon. And oh my God, Casey, everything's 3D. 3D, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, watch out for this cozy. It's coming right at you. Oh my God. Yes, so it's in 3D. It was in Real D, which I had not seen a Real D movie until this. This is really the first 3D. The first wide released rated R in Real D, not counting like old, like what I'm wearing right now, not counting that 3D. Although the DVD was what you're wearing right now. It was red and green for some reason. I love that you have these. And you know what? For the clips I'm showing right yes. now, I'm going to use the 3D version. So you fuckers better have 3D yes! glasses. Eventually, we'll stop the 3D stuff. Uh, so, yeah, again, on regular YouTube, this probably looks really annoying. You should probably sign up for Patreon to see sign how up. cool everything looks. It'll be like you're in the store. That's amazing. It's great here. I spend every day here, and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, let's get into this movie, Casey. Let's get into it. Okay, it opens up with some 3D news clipping. So many news clippings. Yes, this, this, this town has a very active 
news, like a newspaper. <laughs> like if you didn't see the original, I would have had no idea what was going on. Yeah. Uh, at first, I I do like some of the changes they made here, though. Okay. Um, I just see the main actor like pop up. Yeah. And is still, I'm like, why is he already? Why are we uh, already seeing him? Jensen Eccles from Supernatural. Supernatural. And we even get to see our boy Tom Atkins, Tom as Atkins. Sheriff Burke. Uh, so yeah, um, Jason Eccles plays uh, Tom <laughs> Tom Hanniger, mm -hmm. and in this version, in the old version, I don't even think he was alive for all the Harry Ward and stuff. But in this version, uh, Tom is responsible for not uh, what do they, what do they call it? Um, I forget what they call it. There's a thing where it's built up methane gas, and they have to release the methane methane gas so it doesn't explode. Yes. He forgets to do that. Oh, no. And it causes a big explosion. You see Harry Warden puts his, right. his helmet on and, like, the fire goes up to him in 3D. In 3D. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, he's totally responsible. He mm -hmm. kills all those people. Uh, or so he thinks. But isn't, yeah, or so he thinks. He's responsible for them being caught down there. But as we learn through the news clippings and Tom Atkins yelling, uh -huh. uh, it turns out Harry Warden who was stuck down there with those guys, started killing them to conserve, like, oxygen yes. and resources. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. And they found that out afterwards. They're like, mm -hmm. he killed all of them so he could live. Yes, I like the other way better in the original. Where he just, like, ate, ate them. them. Yeah. I mean, yes. maybe he ate them in this one, but <laughs> we'll see. Maybe. So, yeah, he was in a coma. Mm -hmm. Then he wakes up. He wakes up from his coma. What, in like a, a hospital. Yeah, like a year later, right? A year later. Yes, atrophy is not a thing. <laughs> his legs just work. Casey, they just work. <laughs> he just gets up and he's ready to run around. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to like find his balance. And now, now he just wants to kill everybody. It's a massacre. Yeah, What? why was he killing the nurse? Why was he killing that he other He just patient? had to get it out of his system, I think. <laughs> And it's everywhere, and he likes to draw. He's very he artsy all of a sudden. Artsy. He's really embraced the Valentine's Day theme. Mm -hmm. And it really reminded me, it gave me, like, maybe Rob Zombie's Halloween or Halloween 2 vibes. The way it's filmed. One of the actresses from this, I think, is in Halloween 2. Hmm. Um, yeah, it does kind of feel like Halloween 2. Actually, it came out probably the same year as Halloween 2. Halloween 2 was 2009, right? I don't remember. I think, I think so. so. Yeah, I think it was both them. Uh, yeah, I think so. So yeah, uh, I like Tom Atkins shows up as the sheriff. He's always good. He's always good. I like that he's investigating, and then like I like how they have a heart drawn on the wall. Yeah. But then when it turns, <laughs> it's like three D. <laughs> and he's in the heart. Where the hell is he headed? Yeah. Uh, so the movie Drive Angry, Nicolas Cage, that this team did, not uh -huh. a very good movie, but Tom Atkins is a pretty good asshole in it. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I have to add that to the list. So yeah, uh, a bunch of kids decide they're gonna hang out at the mine. Mm -hmm. I don't know why in both versions these kids want to hang out at the mines. Worst friends ever. Because this guy, he just had this whole thing happen to him. And they're bringing him back to the mine. Yeah, the girlfriend should have known better Where's to bring him. girlfriend? Him... He's traumatized. I know. Like, Casey, the, the gym where we met. Uh, where we met. Yes. If you, like, forgot to lock the door one day what? and, like, crazy people went in and blew it up or something. Okay. A year later, I wouldn't be like, hey, Casey, you want to go work out at that gym? <laughs> You'd probably be like, no, I kind of don't want to go no back way. there. I still don't want to go back to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, come on, let's go hang out at that thing where you yep. killed all those people accidentally. <laughs> That's basically what she's doing. It is. And I, if I was him, be like, can we just party? Literally, I don't even need to party. I'm good not partying. I'm right. good not partying. I don't want to be with people. Um, also, no. not a ton of people are there, but one of which is the guy from Final Destination. Yes. The uh, duck, as well as Dawson's Creek. Something Kerr. His name is Something Kerr. I forgot to write his name down. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's a bunch of, he's in a lot of TV stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, he is Axel, yes, and he's dating Axel. Irene. Mm -hmm. Who, uh, Ian, my boyfriend, kept thinking was Carbon Electra. <laughs> that was not Carbon Electra. <laughs> like, it's not her. It was not Carbon Electra. <laughs> Both very good-looking girls, but yeah. no, this is not Carbon Electra. <laughs> no. Uh, although, I think I noticed this girl, like, stopped acting. I think I looked up her IMDb. And I've never it. seen her. She's in, maybe she's the one who's in Halloween too. I don't know. She's in like a bunch of stuff. And then like, I think around 2015, it's like, goes oh. away. Um, but I mean, 
with the scene coming up, how do you top that in your career? I would have retired too. I, I would too. I'd be done. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they're all partying in the mine, uh, which by the way, I have it here. Uh, a coal mine seems like a shit place to party. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to party in a coal mine. Not at all, but this is the sticks. We're yeah. assuming. Wood, you can do it in the woods. I, I partied in the woods. Didn't enjoy it, but I partied it, in the but woods. But this place, isn't it known? Like where they live is known for this mine that they want to shut yeah. down eventually. Yeah. So maybe they're just living it up. I guess so. It's I guess a lot of them place. are like, we're going to spend our whole lives in this mine. Might as well get a <laughs> head start. Um, or Yeah, so I think Tom is an idiot for going back there. Yeah. Eventually, kids go into the mine. Uh-huh. Uh, Sarah, it's Sarah by herself, right? Right. She's down there. She's like looking for everyone. And then a guy pops out with his uh, little mask. Yes. And he's like, oh, what do you think I am? Harry Warden. And then Harry Warden shows up. I don't like this scene, but he pickaxes him right in the back of the head. And oh, his, yeah. his, his, hold on, hold on. Patreon, his eye what? pops out. Well, you think I was Harry Warden or something? Hey, Michael, check this out. And that was the first 3D kill. And I remember in the theater laughing, even though it was an eye scene and I hate it. It was also so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I thought of you, Tony. There's a lot of eye stuff. There is part. a lot of eye stuff, which I was not really a big fan mm-hmm. of. And speaking of eyes, these glasses are killing me. Yeah. So for Patreon, I will now be ending the 3D segment so I can take these goddamn things off. Be a patron. I have a note here. Okay. It says her wardrobe is terrible. So I think I'm talking about Sarah. Okay. Because in this whole movie, wardrobe, terrible. This scene, her bra is showing. I'm like, are we supposed to think this is sexy? I don't know. I didn't take a note of that. Um. So what? So this is 2009. 2009- 10 years this is supposed to be 1999 this this what we're watching right Uh, now yeah maybe that's just what they were wearing because they also did the thing where like obviously they can't age them 10 years so like axel yeah is like i'm young his hair is like down and all shaggy that they do that in movies all the time like how do we show that he's young well his hair will be down and all shaggy it's like well some young guys do their hair nice i didn't but other guys do and this first kill um it, it got me like i didn't see it, it coming. yeah it comes really really fast this yeah. movie starts off really fast mm-hmm. it does it just gets right into it and speaking of like the original i feel like we're watching the original right now because a bunch because uh-huh. the rest of the movie is not kids partying in a mine yeah it does what a remake should it Tells the same story, but changes it enough. But no as porno like a, in the beginning. No porno in the beginning. No. But as a nice reference, they were like, you know what? Let's have like the opening be the party in the mine. Yeah. Because the rest of the movie is going to be pretty there different. There are a few very nice callbacks in this one to the original. Yes, yes, yes. we'll yes. get to those. Um, there's cool dead bodies everywhere. Apparently mm-hmm. no one heard anyone being murdered down there. It's very All three <laughs> people. Harry's just very quiet, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I like that they're all hiding from him, uh-huh. and he walks by them, and then the one guy's like, hey, what's up, man? And they're like, run, and he fucking bumps his head. He just runs So into the- dumb. So dumb. That guy, that guy deserved it. That guy deserved it for being stupid. Just, yep. <laughs> uh, Sarah, she saves Axel, um, and then another girl. Poor girl gets the top of her head yes. cut off. Like in Wrong Turn, the original Wrong Turn. Okay, I was thinking Hatchet 2. They do the same thing in Hatchet 2. They do. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, but I remember Wrong Turn just for the whole digital aspect of it. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And then the ca- yeah, when like this. It, yeah, because like her, her mm-hmm. head like slides off, but in, in Wrong Turn, it's like the accents or something. Yes. And then like I like the camera pants down, her yep. body's all floppy. I remember that. So I thought that was a pretty cool kill. Mm-hmm. Me too. Uh, I like that they all just abandon Tom when they're out there. I know. Yep. You know what? Would have done the same. I know you would have. He should have released the pressure in those methane kings. He should have. This is on him. Are we going back to the Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> the tweet. <laughs> oh, of the hero? We know. The leave, hero. My, leave my hero alone. <laughs> gonna, I want him on the show. I want to look for like that same shirt and be like, I'm dressed like my hero. <laughs> Guy who ran away from Dave. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> um... Yeah, they leave him. Yeah, they just they leave him. They leave him in the place that he was once traumatized. Yes, yes. Again! With with the guy 
Let the killer. Who wants to kill him specifically more than anyone else on Earth? Yeah. Because <laughs> he blames him for everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's got Tom where he wants him. And then, boom, Sheriff Burke comes in and starts yep. shooting the hell out of Harry. Uh, just like Apparently. unloads at him, but Harry gets away. There's a bit of a cave in to yeah. separate them, and then that's that. Ten years later, mm-hmm. yeah, ten... we get another. Yeah, another yes. passage of time. I think before it was one year, now it's ten years. Ten years. Axel's now the sheriff, mm-hmm. and then I have it. E. D. Kathegi is the deputy. If you watch Sorry. the X-Men movies, which I've been reviewing, uh, he's an X-Men first class. He's the mutant who has a power to adapt to anything. So technically he can't die. And then the movie killed him. He'll be in another superhero movie. He's in the new Superman coming out yeah. as Mr. Terrific, who's a character cool. I really like. What is wrong with people? Like, can't they get something right? <sighs> I'm so annoyed. That like, really, really. You're the, a filmmaker. You should know. <laughs> literally, the mutant power is he's called Darwin. He evolves to survive yeah. anything. And then Kevin Bacon puts a laser in him or something. It's so stupid. It's written out for you what to do. <laughs> anyway. But I like the character, Mr. Terrific. And I Good. like this actor. So I'm excited to see what James Gunn does with that. Uh, but anyway, he's the deputy. Sarah is now married to Axel. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're together. They have a son that you will not see until the third act. <laughs> No. Yeah, yeah, for a minute, I I got like far into this movie. I'm like, they have a son, right? Like, in a picture. You <laughs> yeah, see him in a picture. See a picture. Uh, and her name is now Sarah Palmer. Like Laura Palmer's mother in Twin Peaks. Yeah. Apparently, I know there's a, a Sarah Palmer. Apparently, there's a bunch of fictional characters called Sarah Palmer. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, but of course, I like Twin Peaks, so I noticed that. And you know what else I like? What? Roadhouse. So Kevin Teague is in this. He was the owner of the Double Deuce in Roadhouse. Very cool. Who is he in this? He's Ben, the guy who like manages the mine for Tom's family. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. yeah, yeah. I always I always like seeing seeing Kevin Teague. He also played a good. If you ever watch Lost, he was a good asshole in Lost. He was like one of the main characters' dad. He mm-hmm. was a con man. He was such a dick. So yeah, they're just uh, you know letting you know what they're up to. And then there's Megan, yes. played by Megan Boone. Boone. Not good. <laughs> Which I don't even know why I'm saying that. I got it right the first time. I yeah. definitely didn't say the wrong she, actress's name. She is not Megan Good. But she tells uh, Sarah that she's going to be late getting mm-hmm. to the store. Oof, you already know. Yeah. You already know by the way that Axel looks at her. Yes. Turns out Axel's cheating on Sarah with Megan. What is wrong with people? And then you should see where he's cheating on her. Yeah. With. Who who cheats on people that they're married to when they're adults, okay? Do it in college. And where he's doing it. Yeah, a rundown, dirty uh, cabin. I mean, if you're going to do it anywhere. I mean, she says, like, we should do it in the motel. He's like, yeah, that won't be suspicious at all. Remember, cheating is wrong after a certain age. I mean, all the time. All Valentine's the time. Day. I've been single for two years. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, he she's like, hey, I want you to tell, you know, your wife mm-hmm. that it's over and everything. And then she gives him a present. He's like, I didn't give you one. And then she whispers that she's pregnant. Pregnant. <laughs> Does the, this the... come back? No. <laughs> well. <laughs> it doesn't really. Yeah. The, the minor in this movie is going to do a really bad thing <laughs> later. Yep. Uh, she's all happy about it. It's like, lady, she's so happy. Lady, you're getting, you're pregnant with your boss's husband. I wouldn't be as giddy about this mm-hmm. as you are. You should be concerned. Uh, and then, affect everybody. Yeah, Tom. He 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 comes home. Yes. Who, by the way, yeah. he's barely in this movie. I feel. I feel he has barely any lines. Tom. Yes. He, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like he had to have been like. He was big at this time. Yeah. I feel like he's in the movie enough, right? Enough. Yeah. I I, I have a theory for why, but okay. we have to get he to that later. Back. Um Yeah, he looks at the mine and then he meets with Ben, the guy mm-hmm. from Roadhouse. Uh and you find out he's there to sell his father's mine. Yes. And everyone is, like, real upset about it. Mm-hmm. They're like, what the hell is, th- like, this is our town's, like, life and blood. Like, what the hell? And he's like, those mines are outdated. And that's why that accident happened. Not because I screwed up. So we're going to sell it. We're going to get rid of it. 
It's like a whole big deal. Yeah. Uh, Ben's not happy about it. I do like when he's like, if you got something to say to your dad, say it here. And he gives him the box of the ashes. I was just going to say <laughs> that this poor guy who hasn't been through enough. Yeah. Was just handed his father's ashes <laughs> to speak to. Well, he did. And he takes them. He did miss the funeral. I know. Yeah. He didn't want to go back. I wouldn't want to go back to that town. They yeah. blamed him for all of this. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, can you bury him somewhere else? Yeah. I know he lived there, but this is awkward for me. Can we bury yeah. him somewhere else? So, yeah, uh, Ben is not happy about him signing, but they're not able to sign. They had to push it till Monday, yes. so there's still time. Uh, Tom gets a hotel room mm-hmm. thanks to a very tiny lady. Wh- is Mail around? God, I hope not. Mila's been dead for seven years. A very tiny lady. <laughs> I just want to know. She's very tiny. I've, I just... se- I've seen people with that condition. I don't know what it's called. But were... Did the role call for that? Or did they just audition and thought she was the best fit? It might just be one of those characters where they're like, eh, anyone. Why? Anyone. <laughs> I don't know. I thought she was good. I thought she was, she was amazing. Good. I'm just saying, yeah. it, just, it, just, it just caught, that caught me off guard yeah. as well. Just um, as much as the first scare did. Yeah. There's like a popular YouTuber that like does stuff like Alex Stein and Chrissy Mayer. I, I think, uh, I think Mint Sal was on a couple of videos with her. She looks like the same type of body as Edna this Mode. This is huh? Edna Mode. Edna Mode? Edna Mode. That's who this is? It looks like Edna Mode. Who's Edna Mode? <gasps> From Incredibles. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Sorry. I've, I've okay. only seen The Incredibles twice. It's okay. I don't have all I think n- I have two. I've seen the second one once. Do you even know who I'm talking about? Yes. The okay, tiny yeah. lady. Okay. Now that you say it, I now I know okay. who it is. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, this lady. Probably <laughs> the best part of the movie. Yeah, she's great. So she's like constantly looking for her little Jack Terry or whatever it is. Yes. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Uh, and she gives him a room in uh, the motel where everyone is having sex. Ah, like there's, I like when he's in the hotel room taking his pills with like his headache. You just hear like it coming from different rooms, just everyone. <laughs> and is this the motel that the girl wishes she was at? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's actually a great. I never. I just noticed that it's a good tie-in to come to the yeah. motel now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, and then we find out in the next room is Irene. Yes. She's sleeping with some guy named Frank. Mm-hmm. And she is very naked. Yes. Who is the screenwriter? The guy. Frank is Frank is also naked. Yes. But Irene stays naked for the next 10. We probably can't even show a lot of the footage from this scene. This could never happen today. Uh, I mean, it was R. I... For how long? Just for like... It is weird for how long she was naked and how much like full frontal there was. You don't really see that in like a regular R movie. And that's not it. They have her running in high heels. I just, I don't know. (laughs) I don't think now people would even dare to do that. I just don't. Yeah. It doesn't bother me, but I'm just saying. It's weird that like a major released film, even if it's rated R. Yeah. Like I'm used to seeing stuff like this in like direct video schlock. Uh, which just almost feels like, uh, but yeah, she's. What were they called? Snuff films? No, where's that? No, part? no, I'm sorry. No, snuff, snuff was like a thing that didn't even really exist. Okay. Um, smut films, I smut. guess that's the one. Um, but yeah, so she finds out that he was filming her. Another ask, thing. Ask permission, guys. Ask permission. It can it can get you in a lot of legal trouble, and also it's morally wrong. But it get you in a lot of legal trouble. Ask permission. Um, so she wants the, uh, camera from him and she threatens to shoot him, Right. which ladies, that's more illegal than filming someone <laughs> naked. I just want you to know if you're going to shoot someone for filming you naked, I just want you to know what you're doing is more illegal. Mm-hmm. So maybe don't go shooting people. Yeah, There's other ways angry. to handle the situation. Uh, but he calls her out for the gun not being loaded and yeah. she throws it in and it's 3D. It's 3D. Also, just want to add, like, they made her as vulnerable as possible. Yes. Like, just so you know. That's yes. how bad it is. Usually, like, we talked about this, like, when we did Psycho and stuff. Usually, like, nudity and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 
it makes it scarier because of how vulnerable you are and how exposed you are. That's fair. But for this movie, I'm like, I think they just wanted the naked broad for a really yeah. long time. Yeah, it's a long time. We'll yeah. get there. Uh, We're not even done with it. I know. Frank uh, goes to leave, but fucking the minor. <laughs> is it Harry? Who knows? Is in the car just pickaxes him through the right skull. Through the right through the top of the head. Bald head. And then she runs, tits bouncing, uh, into in like, heels. In heels, into uh, like the the main room, the main yes. office. The little woman's. Yes, the little woman's room. Uh, she hides under the bed, <sighs> and then that little lady comes comes in, looking for her dog. Looking for her dog still, and the miner. <laughs> Thank God it was a tiny chick. This was really funny. He comes in. It makes it worse. Swinging the pickaxe through the bottom of her skull and pins her to the ceiling. You shouldn't be laughing. It was pretty funny. It was really funny. She's just like. They chose the most vulnerable people. <laughs> the most innocent here. Well, you know what I mean. I know. Tiny people are very and vulnerable. Nude. Completely new. Very, very short people like Kit Osborne, you know? They're just, they're very fragile, and real men can break them. Like I might in the future. I don't know. Or Joey C. No, Joey C's on the good <laughs> list right now. Sorry. He, but yes, you might. Uh, by the way, by the way, my favorite thing about Joey C's New Year's resolution to be more manly is like everyone in the Hack the Movies Discord and the Hack the Movies fans making sure he's being manly. <laughs> Whenever he slips up, we'll call him out on it. That's a lot of pressure. He complained about working out. We're like, that doesn't sound very manly, no. Joey. Doesn't sound manly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she like tries to use the bed frame to like block his pickaxe and she just she gets... She made it worse. I know. She gets gutted. She gets cornered and gutted. Aye. Which is very sad. Which is very sad. But don't worry, you'll see her naked again. Yeah. <laughs> like a few more in, times, actually. In a different pair of high heels. <laughs> which I was like, really? The continuity there. Wait, she had two different shoes. She had of? two different shoes. She was running in a pair of heels. Okay. And then in the pictures that you'll later see of her completely slaughtered, um, she's wearing wedges. Oh. Why? I don't know. Maybe they didn't have the shoes that day. Yeah. No. Do you like that this was the way he was reintroduced? There's a scene coming up that I was like, whoa, this is way cooler to have, like, reintroduced the killer. I just think it was just... I, don't I know. thought it was fine. It's fine. I thought it was But it's fine. not as cool as the scene coming up. You know? Yes, yes. I know what you're talking about. Maybe that would have... Yeah, but then you're going a while without a kill. I understand why they put that I would have liked that. No, there's a kill there. I would have liked that before No, no, there one. is, but... I think they wanted a kill before that. Okay. They wanted one kill before Tom had his moment. Okay. Um, plus, they wanted Ax someone connected to Axel's past to get killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which the next day, Axel is investigating. They cut poor Irene's heart out. Yeah. <sighs> Tom bumps into Sarah at the store, and she's shocked to see him. Yeah. This reminds me of the original when, like, Sarah and Tom... Or what I, I think their names were the same in the original. Yes. They like they're having that like whole soap opera moment. They're like, you left for whatever many years, and I didn't know where you were. And uh -huh. This is kind of like that. It's not as melodramatic and cheesy as the original. <laughs> then the sheriff, what you call it, Axel, uh, looks at the tape, and the murderer sends him a heart in a box. <sighs> now, now, it's a bummer. <laughs> um, is it the Irene's heart? I think so. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, good old Sheriff Jim Burke retired is partying with a bunch of old people. And I like that Tom just, like, walks into the bar. And that old guy's like, I hate you so much. <laughs> like, just runs up and punches him. Yep. <laughs> Everyone's just beating the shit out of each other. It's like, oh, okay, okay. Just, just and those like, sheriffs didn't age at all. Because they're, they're mad at him for what he did. They're like, Harry Warden's going to come for you. Yeah, he can't go anywhere, this guy. <laughs> he really can't. And you know what? I don't blame the town. He did kind of cause a chain reaction. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. Well, it... it Maybe they could have forgiven that. Was his dad dead when yeah. that happened? Oh, wait, no. Happened? No, no, no. His dad, his dad, uh, uh, his dad died, died recently. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. Uh, right. It's, I think it's everything in the past in addition to him basically killing the town by mm -hmm. selling the mine. I think that's why they really want to beat the shit out of him. Axel and Sarah talk about Tom 
Yes. And he's just watching the sex tape. Yep. Very loud She's with like, speakers. What are you doing? What are you watching? I was just watching my ex girlfriend uh, getting railed before she was horribly murdered. And she's like, oh, okay. I'll but leave he calls it crime scene footage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you could hear everything. But he notices that what's his face? Tom was passing by the window, mm-hmm. which we did see him pass by the window. Yep. And he's like, be careful about him. Don't go near him. So, of course, she ignores that and she mm-hmm. goes on like a walk, I think. With uh, Tom, and uh, she kind of, like, berates him for wanting to sell the mine. She's like, you really shouldn't be doing this. Right. One, you suck for leaving. Where were you? But you shouldn't be selling the mine. Yeah. So then he goes to the mine. Finally, we're at the mine. Yes. No one there is really thrilled to see him. No. Um, By the way, they're like, you gotta, it's not, it's dangerous to go in there. He's like, I know these mines. I grew up here. And then he spends like 10 minutes in the mine without wearing a hard hat. It takes him a long time to put the hard hat. It does. Got to put that hard hat on, buddy. Got to put that hard hat on right before you walk in. My mom worked at an aluminum factory for a little bit. And I had to film some videos there. She got me a job filming videos. And like, you could not go into the factory floor without a hard hat. Like, it was required. So you know. I mean, this guy is like, I know what I'm doing, even though I'm responsible Uh. for blowing up the mine. Let me just go in here. Like, as soon as a rock hits him, it's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> so he, uh, that's what the f- term is. I found the term that I couldn't find earlier. Mm-hmm. He goes down to the mine with a guy, and he sees all the valves from when he was supposed to, what they say, bleed the mine yeah. of the methane gas. And he's, like, having memories. Right. Like, oh, shit, this is where I forgot to do that thing. Flashbacks. Then he he gets locked in. Mm-hmm. And now this reveal is cool. I, I like this where he like turns and Harry's like staring yes, at him. Me too. I like how they're just like in unison with each it's other. Perfect. I did. Yes. I yes. thought that was very well directed. It was a very very good scene. Uh, have a face to face with the killer. Uh, but for some reason, Harry or the miner locks mm-hmm. him in the gate or the the fence. And he kills the other guy. Kills the other guy. He kills that guy really hard. That guy did not deserve to get killed that bad. Yeah, he was a pulp. By the way, he had a fight scene at least before. <laughs> he did. He put up a fight. Which I'm sure that actor put on his stunt reel or something. Uh, right. But yeah, he had a fight with the guy. But then like the the miner kills him and then just keeps gutting him yeah. with the axe. And Tom isn't screaming, yelling for help, nothing. Yeah. He's just watching this happen. So that's horrifying. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason they were down there was to talk to Ben. The cops are questioning Tom. They're like, hey, why were you at the mine? And he yeah. says, after his conversation with Sarah, he was like, uh, I was there to tell Ben I don't want to sell the mine. So he's going to be a good guy now. And Tom insists that it was Harry Warden doing it. Also, I like that Axel like kind of calls him out for being in love with this girl. He's like, my wife, who I have sex with. He says something like that. So dumb. And it's like, okay, buddy, I assume so. You don't have to, like, really spell that part out yes. for us. Um, it's just a uh, defense mechanism or something. Yeah, but Axel reveals something. Oh, yeah, Axel could be projecting because Axel is cheating. So yeah. he could be projecting. I've known people who've done that, mm-hmm. who were doing something shitty and then it kept accusing the person they were with of doing what they were doing. Yeah. And it's like, uh, not me. But other people, I've known other people. Yeah. So Axel reveals a big secret mm-hmm. uh, about Ben and Burke and Axel's dad, who we never saw. Uh, he was like, yeah, Harry's dead. These assholes found him and murdered him yes. illegally and buried the body. And they're like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. They're like, no, no. Right. He's like, no, 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 you fuckers. Let's go and just end this right now. So they go up to the grave. So it turns out they found Harry afterwards because Harry was just... A normal guy, mm-hmm. not like Michael Myers or something. Apparently, yes. they shot him somewhere and buried him. But when they go there, the body's gone. The body's gone. So yeah, they don't know what's going on now. They're like, "You sure he was dead? You sure he's dead?" They're like, "Yeah, he was pretty dead." Mm-hmm. Um, I do like that Tom like questions the deputy. He's like, "What were you doing at the mine?" Like trying to put suspicion on him. Yeah. So Axel decides to have a one-on-one interrogation with Tom. Doesn't go well. No. It doesn't go well. <laughs> they just beat the shit out of each other. They really shouldn't be around each other at all. They were friends. Barely. Not Barely. really. Well, Axel left him, just to remind you. No, Axel didn't like him going in. Yeah. Yeah, they left him. Because when he was dating Irene, he's like, Sarah should dump that loser. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So Tom leaves, and he's going to go search for Harry. 
Yeah. And he sees Harry in the woods. Or he sees the miner in the woods. And he follows him and he finds Axel's cheating cabin. Yep. All guys have a cheating cabin. I don't know if you know that case. <laughs> and this was this Axel's like old his yeah, dad's they mention, old house or they something. They mention it at some point in the film they mentioned that his that was the property that his dad owned. Yeah. Uh so it's like still in his name. They're just not using yeah, it. So it it's is decrepit. a cabin in the woods. Yes. He owns a cabin in the woods. And what do they find there? He finds the love letter. Um, oh, and earlier Axel told Sarah, he's like, Hey, he's still in love with you. I found this picture. Yeah. He has the picture that was taken the night that all the murders happened. No. I'm glad Irene developed that picture and <laughs> gave it to say. him. <laughs> like, hey, Why? here are the pictures. You, you know, I got I got pictures of us drinking. <laughs> So-and-so did a keg stand. You with Sarah. The guy's eye popping out. I got pictures all over that night. <laughs> so meanwhile, Ben is just drunk at home. Just mm -hmm. waiting. Because he assumes Harry's coming to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> he assumes Harry's coming to kill him. So he's drunk. He's got his gun. He makes sure to kind of point it at the screen so you and the audience go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so much. Again, I, that's the one thing I don't like about 3D movies is the whole like. It's so awkward watching it and you don't have the I know, glasses. I know. There are good movies that are 3D that are more than just, whoa, uh, Dread 3D. I really like. Jaws. 3D. No, no, Jaws 3D is the epitome of whoa. Rocky 3D. Just kidding. Rocky isn't 3D. <laughs> You're pointing out all the bad examples of 3D movies. But even something like a movie I don't really like, like Avatar. At least the 3D was to make like the world feel like bigger. It wasn't just like it's on the oh wow, it's pointing yeah. at me. A lot of things that were written for were just written to make it 3D. Yes. Yes. Like, just have 3D moments. Nightmare and uh, Freddy's Dead. Mm -hmm. Friday the 13th Part 3. <laughs> yep. Friday the 13th Part 3 where the guy's, like, hanging up some laundry in the poles. I'm like, okay, the pole's not scary. It, like, it's fun at, like, Disney. At, like, the Muppets. Yeah. And I don't think this is a thing anymore. But the Muppets 3D show. It's, like, fun for, like, 20 minutes. A whole movie of that. You're like, okay, all right, come I on. I remember the Hershey Park ride that was 3D. I thought that was the coolest thing. I haven't been to Hershey Park in six years. It was when years. I was little. But I remember that. I gotta go back to Hershey Park. Only one time. Right? Uh, so yeah, the the miner sh shows up. Fights. He sure does. Fights poor poor Ben. Ben was right. Ben gets it pretty bad. He does. Ben gets it. So not only like he has the pickaxe, he puts the pickaxe in the ground. <laughs> he just shoves poor Ben. And doesn't he say like, "Oh shit"? Yeah, he says I something. <laughs> shit. The next day. They're looking for Ben. They find his body where Harry's grave was. And I like Axel's like, hey, this dude, this person's fucking with us. Mm -hmm. And then Axel's like, clearly it was someone who knew about it. And he's like, and I don't think it's my wife. And I don't think it's you, deputy. Uh, mm -hmm. It's definitely one of us. So there's a bit of a whodunit now. A little bit. Which there, the original you didn't know was a whodunit till like way late. Which is I also agree. my criticism of the original Friday the 13th, where it's like, I'm like, oh, I, well, no, our Friday the 13th is the opposite, where you think it's a whodunit, and then it's not. It's just like, oh, here's some old broad. And it's like, oh, I thought it was the counselor or that guy. Never mind, it's just some old lady we've never seen. I love that twist. Not really a twist. It is a twist. <laughs> not really. It's a twist. <laughs> but it was set up as a whodunit. Twist. Like, is it the ending that's a twist? Hmm. Whereas the original movie. My Bloody Valentine, I think we're just meant to believe it's Harry until at the end they're like, it's a whodunit. It's like, That's oh. really cool. So it's the reverse of Friday the 13th. Yeah, I like that. Ending. Here we're, le we're learning early enough. Like, okay, so Harry's definitely dead. So there is a killer. We now mm -hmm. have to figure out who is the killer based off everything we just saw. Um, there's a lot of red herrings there. Yeah. A lot of people have interacted with him. Megan starts asking Sarah about her relationship with Axel. Yeah. Like, come on. She wants her to know. Yeah. Lady, lady. And she does. She totally does. Yeah. Lady, stop doing that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Like, she, 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 she's smart. Oh, so tell me, like, how did you guys meet again? It's like, oh, my God. What's he like as a father? Is he good at changing diapers? Sarah's like, why are you asking those questions? Yeah. <laughs> but that actress, when she comes back for her scream queen moment, I'm impressed. I like yeah. it. We'll get there. Um. They hear something in the store. Oh, this is the moment. Okay. Yes. 
And it's the miner. Yeah. He's there. Uh, yeah, he chases them around. Only two in the store. Yeah. Well, it was like after. I think they were closing for like a curfew or yeah, something. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so he's swinging his axe and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then there's a tense scene where they're in the office. Yeah. And one of them's got to block the door and the other one's got to find the key to the gate that's in front of the window. And this is very, very tense. Very, very good. But even up before that, this one girl, Megan Boone. (laughs) Yeah. She puts up a fight. And I was like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, she was good. I was looking up for her IMDb. Apparently, she's in that new movie, Poor Things, which I haven't seen yet. Well, Sarah Palmer's from White Chicks. She's one of the, like, rich women that does the dance off. (laughs) She was also in a Gavin DeGraw music video, Chariot. Oh. Mm-hmm. My favorite singer. I didn't. I mean, I've seen White Chicks. Wasn't a fan of it. But she's blonde in it. Uh, you didn't like White Chicks? No, I didn't. Well, they do a dance off and she's one you know, of those sisters. You know, oh, I don't know if it's out yet. Oh. I have the same problem with White Chicks as I do Soul Man. <laughs> and the problem is Sorry. they don't look like White Chicks. <laughs> and uh, C. Thomas Howe. Does not look like a soul man. Um, there have been many memes that have come out. There have been a lot of like memes that have come out them. from white chicks. But yes. the problem with the movie, I'm like, they don't look like white no, chicks. No, but I mean girls that are white chicks that look like them. That they're saying, like, oh. even Iggy Azalea is one of them. <laughs> I'm just, that's what people say. That's a name I haven't heard in forever. Is I she know, like she a quit thing? music. Oh. Tangent. Some would say she never started music. I love her music. <laughs> So the only thing I really know about her is like Kate McKinnon did a good impression of her on really? Saturday Night Live. That, yeah. I I would not know that. Yeah, not that I was why I think because like Chris Hemsworth was on an episode and someone I'll shared a video. Up. Okay, yeah. So they get They're out the, the Megan is getting out the window and then Sarah's like, "Wait a minute, he's not at the door anymore." This this miner with all his heavy equipment is very fast. Yep. <laughs> Somehow he's able to get out, circle around, and he like just kills poor Megan. Really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's a bummer. Megan's dead. But so when Sarah leaves, Axel's there. Like he's outside yeah, he's of the like store. He's like right there. He's right there at the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, she's now a little bit more confused about uh-huh. that. They, um, oh, I did like actually rewind a little bit. Okay. I did like that. Uh, he puts his pickaxe in there and he like grabs her by like the shirt. Yeah. And, like rips the shirt. Yes. Not like a sex thing. I was like, no. that was like a close call. It and I'm was like, okay, good. that's cool. Because of her wardrobe. Because of her bad wardrobe. Baggiest clothes ever. And this is why they just had to set up this scene. Thank you for making this point. Some girls, some girls wear baggy clothes. Okay. It yeah, helps them. I'm just saying. It helps them against pickaxes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. You because be... we have the woman who's completely naked, and then we have the woman who's <laughs> completely covered. Like, more more so. Than you These girls be should covered. be wearing armor. <laughs> <laughs> they should like... be wearing the suits from Virus. <laughs> they really should. <laughs> Which reminds me. Hmm. It went up last month. Our Patreon exclusive uh, wallpapers were Virus themed. <gasps> yes. They look like the covers of the Virus uh, comics. They're so fun. And uh, what's his name? D. Palmer. On Instagram, uh, Whoa. did those. Yeah. What a tie-in. I think his name is Deep. That's meant to be. Uh, yes. Yeah, so those are available on Patreon at the ten dollar tier, and with that, you get live stream access. You get to be on the live episodes. Oh, cool. Enough plugging. Let's get and back into this. Thanks for making this. those. Huh? D. Palmer. Oh yes, Thank yes. You for making those. So yeah, they find Megan outside, heart ripped out. Uh-huh. For a minute, I thought it was the baby, and I'm like, oh no, it's her heart. Thank God. I know. <laughs> they don't even. Discuss the baby. Yeah, they well, they haven't really done an autopsy yet. I know. So and I think it's early enough where like no one's noticing. They have to have an autopsy like in Sleepy Hollow where they find the baby. Uh, but yeah, then above her is what mm-hmm. she wrote in the note in the Valentine's yeah. note. <sighs> uh, and then Sarah admits that she knew about Axel and Megan. Yeah, she's like, I'm not blind. She's like, I'm not blind. Because I feel like, and she's also not mad because they kind of settled for each other. Mm. Why did he and Irene break up? I don't know. Considering where Irene was in life when we saw her. Uh, I guess. Just boning truck drivers. Uh, yeah. She's not a prostitute, but maybe she is. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot about that scene I, as I, well. I feel like Irene Thanks maybe her. wanted to party a little too much, and Axel was like, I got a career and stuff yeah. I got to focus on. I feel like they just kind of settled for each other. Maybe they got, maybe like the kid is like what kind of kept them together. Happens. <sighs> the kid that we probably still haven't seen. The kid that we have forgotten exists <laughs> until now. Yes, until now. Um, so yeah, uh, we this is the first time we see Sarah and Axel's son. There had to have been a deleted scene, right? It feels weird to finally show the kid. They only show him in a picture before this. Yeah. So I was like, whoa, what? They have a kid too? Yeah, and then like in the scene, he, he never says anything. No, he and looks he, terrifying. And then you never see him again. It's like something was weird. I feel like there was something about the kid that was cut out. Yeah, there probably was. The minor kills the babysitter. Mm-hmm. He kills her. And we're, we're, I'm going to talk about how he killed her. Okay. Uh, but Sheriff Burke and the lady deputy go to investigate. Sheriff Burke somehow knows he's in there. Uh-huh. I don't know how he figured that out. Wait, he, where? In the house. In the house. Yeah. yeah he just talks okay. to the door. He's like, he's in there. It's like, how do you how do you know? Did you see? I think just like intuition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he just assumes that that's where he's going next. So yeah, so the lady deputy goes in there. She sees the son, tells him to hide. Oh yeah, he she was watching. Yes. She was watching outside. Yes. Terrible job. <laughs> but this is a callback to the original, right. early in the original, uh, I forget who the girl I, he was looking for. Margaret. Mabel. Mabel. Yeah, the sheriff of that movie is looking for Mabel at the laundromat. Yes, her laundromat. Yes, and uh, I do, although that scene was funny when I was watching it, because, like, there's just the one dryer that's covered in blood, and the sheriff just keeps, I know! He just keeps missing, and he's like, huh, Mabel? <laughs> she- Mabel, and then he checks the one next to it. Uh, and then she comes out all burnt. Yeah, she's like, hello, this is where I am. <laughs> this this one, it was a little bit more obvious where the dead body was. The deputy yes. found it pretty quick. But yeah, the uh, the babysitter comes out all horribly burnt. Looks really cool. It does. Looks and really it looks really cool in the original. Yes. Which Mabel did not deserve. And Mabel didn't. No. Mabel didn't deserve that. Or the babysitter. And remember, in the original, the killer is killing people to stop Valentine's Day from being celebrated. Mm-hmm. The killer in this one is just killing people. He, it's brutal. He yeah. just does it to do it. But there's like, he's not like making a list of demands or anything no. like the original. So that, that I feel like, I guess in the original we have a motive. I feel like this one it's actually a little cooler. It's like, what is? Because it, it ties into the who done it. It's like, okay, why are they? Who's killing and why are they killing? We're trying to figure that out. <sighs> Uh, but yeah, uh, she dies and then poor Burke, Burke, poor Sheriff Burke. He gets tricked with the light. Yeah. Poor Tom Atkins gets that fucking spike through the jaw. Right through it. And then, cause it's in 3d, he pops the jaw out and flies toward the screen. Yeah. Who meant Sal and I met at Monster Mania. Tom Atkins? Yeah. You guys met him? Yeah. Oh. Put my picture up. <laughs> Did you get a picture with Mint Salad? No, she didn't get a picture. Oh, that's why. Okay, maybe that's why I confused. I'm like, I don't remember you two yeah. taking a picture. Oh, that's right. You two yeah, did Yeah, I had around. my tapes from the Crypt poster. Wait till you see that. And hopefully, by the time this is out, me and Mint have finally reviewed the virus comic, which Ooh. we were supposed to do like when it came out, and then they went on a hiatus. Uh, but oh. they're back now. Good. At the time of this recording. Who knows? <laughs> maybe Who they're knows? not. Um, so check out For Cannon's Sake. Not that other for cannon's sake. The the mint salad for cannon's sake. Cool. Uh, they take Sarah to the hospital, and then Axel finds out that Tom took Sarah out of the hospital. And he's like, uh-oh. Yes. Then he gets a call. He's like, hey, we got the report yeah. on Tom. Uh, so you're like, uh-oh. Then, like, now everything is going crazy here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom blames Axel. He's like, hey, I went to the cabin. I'm going to show you. I went to the cabin. He's responsible for all the killings. Right. He was with that girl. He did this. You're going to you're gonna totally believe me. <laughs> and then Axel calls Sarah. And I like Tom's like, who is that? Don't answer that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> and she's like, what? Nothing. What? Hello? Mom? <laughs> and then Axel, I actually like Axel here. Because even though he is a piece of shit. Yeah. He does, like, he doesn't want anything bad to happen to her. No. It was just like, again, they kind of settled for each other. You know, he was like seeing what else was out there. And also she was kind of getting flirty with Tom. So she's not. Anyway, 
Uh, but I like that he's like, hey, after this, you can leave me. That's fine. I just don't want you to die. Yeah. Can you please get out of that car? He's been in a mental institution. Right. And you uh, don't know if he's, like, telling the truth. Yeah, you don't know if he's, he's covering lying. his ass yeah. or whatever. Um. So, yeah, uh, she causes a car crash to get out. Because she's like, I need to see my son. With another huge 3D moment. Yes, where they crash into a tree. And, of course, the branch <laughs> comes all the way toward the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and then hangs there for like a minute. <laughs> Why wasn't the second Final Destination 3D? I think one of them is. The, the car the one. The fourth one is. Yes, the yeah. fourth. The oh, I car. forgot. Earlier in the film when he throws the pickaxe and it's 3D through the car and it's like right at her eye. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Aren't they doing another Final Destination? Mm -hmm. I hope so. I totally forgot to circle back to that franchise, but. Uh, hello, that's what I'm here for. I know. I know. I got to figure out how to work it into the schedule. Schedule's getting pretty booked. We got that's a lot great. of movies. We got a lot of movies. Although there's like three that require a car to be used. You guys have probably figured out which ones those are. So she runs into the woods to get away from him. She makes her way to the cheating cabin. Yeah. She finds the That's heart perfect. with Megan's note. Mm -hmm. And then she finds the picture of her and Tom, which Axel had. Axel had that picture. So now she's like, oh, no. I think it's Axel. And then this is where she opens up the door and all the fucking Valentine. Yes. How many people was he planning on killing and sending hearts to? I know. Well, the original Harry or this Harry, same no. guy, killed the 20 people. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the kill count at the moment. Yeah, because in the original, they were like, Harry was killing people for a while before they caught him. Yeah. Like, he was, he was on a spree before they caught him. Yep. Okay, so the minor corners her in the house. Uh, uh -huh. She runs upstairs. She jumps out the window like Sally in Texas Chainsaw. Yes. She just like, jumps out. Uh, and she makes her way toward the mine. And she goes into the locker room area, which is like the original where they pull in the cords. Right, right, and, right, right. Yes. And that the was suits another, come down. That was the other callback. Got it. Which is in the original. These two people are like hooking up. And they're like, how do you pull yes. these down? He's like, oh, you pulled the chain. And then there's a cool scene in the original yes. where they're falling down. They do that again here. And can I say, in that original one, yeah. so that couple that's going to hook up there, Yeah. Um, before that, like way in the beginning when they're introducing all the characters, that guy, the boyfriend, yeah. literally picks her up by her head to kiss her. And then it happens when she dies, the killer picks her up by her head. So it came back. It's like and then I thought rhymes. There was a callback for the little woman okay. when he picked her up by her head. <laughs> I was like, that's totally an ode to the original. <laughs> uh, but again, I. But that was an interesting one to go for. Yeah. Like, I, again, I like when remakes do this where it's like, yes. hey, we're telling the same story. We're changing up the events. But it's like, hey, we know you liked a couple of these elements. Yeah. We're going to work it in here. It changes up enough. Like, um, because like I said, what we did with uh, Last House on the Left and mm -hmm. Hills of Eyes, I kind of like how those remakes approach that where they're like, hey. We know what you're expecting here. We're going to do it a little different. Both movies, which I love so much, by the way. They are really good. They are I really good. I love the Hills Have Eyes remake. I've not seen the sequel to the Hills Have Eyes okay. remake. I hear it's not very good. Mm -hmm. But Derek Mears is in it. Yes. I kept thinking he was in the first one. And it turns out he's in, he's a mutant in the second one. That makes so, more sense. Yeah. But the episode was good. Thank you. Regardless, I wasn't in it. <laughs> so, yeah, she goes further into the mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like hiding from the miner, but then Axel shows up instead. Yeah. And she's not sure who is who here, okay? And he apologizes. He's like, I'm sorry for the Megan thing, all right? That's my bad, but it kind of worked itself out. <laughs> Let's stay together. <laughs> I promise I'm not a killer. Yeah. And then Tom comes. Tom comes. <laughs> and then Tom comes accusing of him, and then it's the classic. Yeah. Who are we going to shoot? Who are we going to shoot him? No, shoot me. Shoot him. Shoot me. Yeah. And then Axel does. I've seen this done in a couple movies. I like Axel's like, you know what? Screw it. Shoot us both. <laughs> yeah, just shoot the both of us. Just shoot us both. Uh, I was like, what? Are you crazy? Because she's like, look, if you shoot me, you're down here with a killer. And I don't want that to happen. So just shoot both of us. Mm -hmm. Which I love. Uh, Do you watch the Evil Dead TV show? No, just the pilot episode. Uh, I know. You got to give that show a I chance. I do. It's fun. But they do a scene where like there's two ashes. Yeah. But it's like the reverse where the evil ash 
is like shoot both uh, is- shoot both of us. They're like Ash would never be that <laughs> that noble. <laughs> they like shoot. Him. That's great. He's too. So- I would be the same way. I'm like, don't ever shoot me. <laughs> never shoot me. <laughs> Maybe in the leg or something. No. That's it. <laughs> Only shoot shoot yourself. I maybe can take that guy. He doesn't have a gun. Shoot yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. But then Tom, another class. So as cliche as this is, there's a lot of cliches here. Yeah. But for some reason, it's working for me. As cliche as this is, we also get the cliche where they slip up and say something they shouldn't have said, which I've seen in a lot. A lot of whodunits have stuff mm-hmm. like that. Where he's like, remember that thing that he, she said to him and wrote? And she's like. And then it was on above her. Yeah. And she's like, how do you know she's dead? He's like, you you told me? She's like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And uh, I was so sad that it was him. I liked it because in the original, in the original, it's Axel. It was Axel. You find out at the end, there's like a cave and whatnot. And they find out that it was Axel who was the killer. Uh, he became, again, I don't like the, the explanation stupid. So as a little kid, he watched his dad get killed by Harry Warden. Mm-hmm. And then he decided he was going to kill anyone who celebrated Valentine's right. Day. He was crazy. And that ending was creepy as anything. Yeah. He said, well, he, yeah, the ending in the original is kind of cool. Cause he yeah. implies that Harry's still alive, even though they say he's not. Right. They're yeah, like, no, yeah, Harry's... Oh, gives like, me chills. They find out. They're like, Harry's been dead for years. It's someone else. Um, and he's like, he's like, Sarah, you're my bloody Valentine. They never say the oh, name. you got me chills. It's so creepy. <laughs> and then he leaves. Like, he gets away. Sarah, be my bloody Valentine. <laughs> he does. I mean, because he's pretty he fucked up. Somewhere. I think his arm is yeah, off. Yeah, he, like, like, cuts his arm. But, yeah. like, it did open it for a sequel, which yes. we never got. But if yeah. you're if you're watching this one knowing the remake, you mm-hmm. might be thinking like, well, obviously it's Axel. Yeah. Obviously it's Axel, but nope, it's Tom. They switched it. Yeah, and they just made Axel so unlikable. It's like you just want him to be the killer. Yeah. But no, well, it's Tom. What you're supposed to do with red herrings. Uh, but yes, Tom. Like, and then we see we see that he's hallucinating Harry. So he's like for yeah. real crazy. Like he has two personalities. So I guess the guilt. And I like this better than my dad got killed. I'm gonna kill everyone. I'm like, what the fuck? I like here where like the guilt of him being responsible for the events and then facing Harry face to face. Yes. He might have like internalized that caused like a. Sp- I mean, that's not how it happens in real life, but for movies, he might have like caused the split personality. Right. And then we see like flashbacks to what happened, where like mm-hmm. he killed that guy and then he locked himself in the cage. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Uh yeah, and he's just killing everyone. He's taking the mask off, but I like the whole time he's like he's like Sarah, you gotta shoot Harry. You gotta shoot Harry. He's uh-huh. right there. He's right there. And they're like, what? there's no one there. But after all the trauma that he's been through, I mean, yeah, this yeah. is what happens. But then he thinks he's Harry because mm-hmm. eventually Harry like oh, yeah, goes, and then he becomes Harry. Which now I'm just like, all right, is there like a supernatural aspect here, or is he just crazy? Yeah. Uh, but like, like Harry goes into him and then he's just like, Harry's still here, isn't he? <laughs> the only time, okay, this is a little bit of a spoiler. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the only time I was like a fan of this twi- kind of twist Work. was the Uninvited movie, not the one that we reviewed. <laughs> not Uninvited, the movie about the cat. Yeah, not av- Uninvited. Available on Patreon or to channel members. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the Uninvited, which I believe was 2009. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you forget the Patreon video we did. There's 10,000 movies called The Uninvited. Can <laughs> this you one, I believe, is 2009, and Elizabeth Banks is in it. Emily Browning? The she, girl from a uh, series of Unfortunate she's Events. She's in it too, right? Is, is she from a series of Unfortunate Yes. Yes, her. Yes, okay, okay. That's the only time I accepted that. I've never actually uh, watched This it. one, I'm like, oh, I'm so mad it was this kind of twist. <laughs> yeah, um, <sighs> for some reason it didn't bother me in this movie. I guess because I... One thing I like about this, the first time I saw it, like in the theater, I was like, wow, I honestly don't know who the killer is. Right. I have a, I talked about this recently on another podcast or in my Scream 6 review. I mm-hmm. hate when I guess who the killer is right, right away. Mm-hmm. And I did it with Scream 6. Yeah. They threw a curveball, but yes. then toward the end, I'm like, oh no, it's definitely them. And I'm like, mm-hmm. it's fun when you don't know or you're not sure, but when you're like definitely sure, like, oh, what was that? God, that terrible Johnny Depp movie, Secret Window. Oh, it's... Yeah. You I, don't mean Ninth Gate. 
do you? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. Secret Window, okay. where he's a writer. Yeah, yeah. It's called Secret Window. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, uh, with John Tortoro. I remember watching that and be like, it's him. He's crazy. It's flipping. It's been a while. Movie. So. What was the other one? Hide and seek with Robert De Niro. Yeah. I'm like it's been yeah, a while since I saw that too. It's him. It just takes the horror element out of it for me. Although they made fun of it in adaptation. You ever watch adaptation with Nicolas no. Cage? No. Uh, that's a fun movie because Nicolas Cage plays twin brothers. Yeah. And the one is like super artsy and whatnot, and the other one's real schlocky. And he's like, and then it turns out that the killer's really him. And he's just like, that is one of the most cliche twist endings ever. Do you remember that Elizabeth Olsen movie? I think it was like Silent House or something. It was oh, all shot the... in one. Oh shot. yeah, wasn't that one? Wow, well, supposed to be shot. shot wasn't one... that the one where it turns out they were like shrooms? They were like tripping. Something was making them trip. Am I thinking of the right movie? I think she was just being like molested. Oh, I never actually. <laughs> so, saw... never I never mind. saw the movie. I thought there was like a thing where like maybe it it's been a while, but I remember just like these <laughs> Those kind are two of twists. very different. Things. I don't. <laughs> I don't like these kind of twists. Like I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. Once Sorry. in a while, it's fine. Once, like the uninvited, that got me. Yeah. I was like, what, the 2009 with Elizabeth Banks, yeah. the girl from a series of unfortunate events. Not the other uninvited, <laughs> invited where you're like, oh my god, the evil cat was the gra- <laughs> the orange cat the whole time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we knew that from the beginning, Casey. It happened oh, in the first it's season. Such a good movie. <laughs> it really, is a good movie. <laughs> um. So anyway, back to this movie. They're duking yeah. it out. They're fighting. Yep. Uh, and again, they probably both put this on their action reel. Uh, and then poor <laughs> Axel gets stabbed in the stomach. Oh, yeah. It's a bummer. But Sarah saves him. Uh, and I love this scene. I think they do it in the original, too, where he's, like, breaking the lights. But I like here where, like, <gasps> oh, Tom yeah. breaks the lights. And when the lights go down, he's Harry for, like, a I split second. I thought that second. was so... I, th- I was like... Okay, I just need to see it like once or twice. They do it every. Yeah, they they got time. a little carried away with yeah. it. No, we get it. We get it. We got yeah. it. We got it. We understand. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're still doing it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, I thought that was a really cool thing. Now, it was 3D, so they couldn't help doing bullet time. Sarah shoots the bullet, and it comes out of the gun, and then we follow the bullet through. <laughs> through Tom's stomach and then she, what a great shot she is she thought shot through a person and shot a fucking valve off which caused an explosion <laughs> which by the way he's standing right next to it she's like five feet away from him she's also getting hit by that blast and she's totally fine what's it called the like a marine what are they called Ooh. that are really good at those kind of shots a sniper a sniper yeah <laughs> Sniper. This isn't an action movie. <laughs> I don't want to see that. But in it 3D. was 3D. So I don't they... want to see a gun, whatever. What is it called? A bullet. I don't want to see a bullet. Time. Bullet time. It's fine in action movies, like you said. Matrix. Yeah. The, the first Resident Evil, as dumb as that scene was. But yeah, when you do it in like a horror movie, it's not as. Yeah, no. It, it kind of takes you out of it a little bit. There is a gun in Terrifier, one of those. One of the oh, Terrifiers. There... And that, yeah, that that was the only time I thought, yeah, that's kind of scary. Ah. Uh, but you uh, haven't seen. I saw the first one. Oh. I don't know if it's in that one or the second one. Sorry. I gotta rewatch can't remember. it. I still haven't seen the second one. I'm <sighs> way behind. I'm way behind. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I watched the original All Hallows Eve. I don't feel like a lot yeah. of people have seen that one. I've seen it. Yeah. It was a good one. It is. Um, Sick. So, yeah, there's an explosion and Tom dies. JK, he kills the rescue guy. I would have saved that. I would have made that the surprise ending, but yeah. So he just because kill- we know, yeah, we he know what's gonna happen. He kills the rescue guy, and of course, right through the eye. And yeah, seeing that in three D wasn't fun. And remember, that was before my eye injury. So mm-hmm. this is when I just didn't like eye stuff. Foreshadowing. Yeah. You manifested it. Sorry. I really did. I really did. <laughs> Fucking don't watch Demolition Man once as a kid and it caused a fear forever. Wow. You don't even actually see the eye get injured in that movie. In I Demolition. haven't seen it. Wesley Snipes, the, the this is the origin, by the way. A lot of the fans know that. Actually, some newer fans might not know that. The origin of the eye fear. I watched the movie Demolition Man, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. I think you'd really like it. Oh, good. I, don't know, I know you're more Arnold than Stallone. Yes. But... Oh, we're well, Rocky now. I was also more Arnold than Stallone, but Demolition Man is really good. So uh, they unfreeze 
uh, what's his face? Blade, Wesley Snipes. He's the bad guy. It's in the future. No uh, spoilers. Well, it's okay. early in the movie. Early okay. in the movie. He needs to break out of the prison, but it's like you have to scan your eye. So, like, he kills a doctor. You don't see it. Yeah. But the door opens and the eye is, is stuck on a needle. And that horrified Ew. me. Uh, the idea that a point, that was the first time I saw a pointy object go Ew. through the eye. And it scared me and traumatized me Ew. forever. And then when real stuff happened to my eye and had oh. to be fixed with needles, I'm like, oh, my God, we've come full circle. And I want to die. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah, you manifested it. <sighs> I'm not reviewing Demolition Man. I said everything I needed to say in the rental reviews episode. <laughs> Go back and watch that one. Anyway, you should watch Demolition okay, Man. Okay, I will. It's so much fun. It's Commentary? So... Yes, but you should watch it by yourself first. Okay, I will. To really, really take it all uh, in. Good experience. It predicted a lot of stuff about the future. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Axel and Sarah, they love each other now. And I'm sure that has nothing to do with their side pieces and potential uh, <laughs> affairs yes. being horribly murdered. I'm sure they just genuinely love each other, not because they're out of options at the moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> These oh, are ridiculous. And also because they have that kid. And oh, yeah, they have a kid together. Yeah, do you remember they had a kid? <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. Where is he? Honestly, they could have just said, we have a puppy, and that would have the same oh. effect. Because the kid is such a non-character yeah, in this. That would have been way worse. Watch out for the puppy. <laughs> um, yeah, so they love each other. And then, oh, no, Tom gets away. But we know because we saw the scene of him killing. I would have just had them there. And then the rescue worker going, I found someone. Yeah, like in the original. I mean, not the original. Yeah. In the new Halloween. Uh, Halloween kills, kills. They did that. Yeah. yeah. But this one. Yeah, he leaves yeah. with the worker's outfit on. And then he goes back and like goes to the camera, takes it off. Yeah. Takes off the headgear and is like, okay, it's like, Tim. So. That wasn't a shock because we saw him kill the yeah, guy. Yeah, we already know. Yeah, it would have been lie. cooler. Everything's done. And then it's that scene of him killing the rescue worker. That way we know he's alive. He's going to get out. Mm -hmm. Or don't show that scene and just show the rescue worker taking off his thing. The, you have to do one or the other. When right. you do both, you're like, okay, I get it. Cool. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that was my bloody Valentine my 3D. Bloody Valentine. I kind of like it more than the original, but I like the original a lot. Yeah. This is one of those rare cases, mm -hmm. which is funny. I shit on remakes for years, but I actually like that lately. I've been reviewing remakes that I like. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. It was a total coincidence. And I never. And you, and you know what? Maybe I'll rewatch Nightmare 2010 and I'll and love, love it. it. I'm, I'm you not might gonna, love it. I'm not gonna love it. Oh, I'm we'll not. see. Casey, I'm not gonna. I love don't it. know. We'll see. Katie Cassidy is in it. I, from Arrow. I only. <laughs> yeah, know, and Jesse McCartney's ex girlfriend. Oh, I only know her from Arrow. She was. She's in a lot of horror movies. She was Black Canary on she Arrow. Was in Black Christmas. When she Call was. Could you wait? Black... Stranger Calls, please. You know what? I, the original and the remake, please. I'd have to watch <gasps> both. I know nothing. I I mean, I know when a stranger calls, oh, please. but I haven't watched it in a billion years. I I've never it. seen the remake. You heard it here first. Okay, I'll find. I want to do the I'll original and the remake. Slot on the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> it's on two. This year we might be doing two a week on occasion. Get out of here. Because there's some movies I really want to do, and yeah. then there's some there's some movies I want to do that are tied to holidays and then tied to anniversaries. And I'm like, maybe we should do just two a week once in a while. I don't want to make it a regular thing because that was real stressful. Yeah. Uh, I would like to below? do. I would like to do more live episodes that aren't wrap ups, like the Conjuring one we did. I like to that do something fun. like that. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do more stuff like that in the future. But yeah, I like this more than the original. But you win either way. I feel like this script works better for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I like that the main characters are actually tied to the Harry Warden stuff. Whereas in the original, those kids are so far removed it's from true. Harry Warden. Except for one, but you don't know that till the end. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, at least, the, the it was fun in the original where the killer told you what he wanted. And this one, you don't know what he wants. Yeah. He just wants to kill everyone because he's gone insane. Uh, I don't know. You get good stuff here and there. This one's very schlocky in places. But it's well acted in other places. Like Sarah and Axel, I thought, are really, really good uh, characters. I'd love to see it be remade again. You want to remake? I want you... another remake. How, would you, how do you top this? <laughs> it's true. 
I think it could just be way better. You got to do it in IMAX 3D, and you got to see it in a 4DX <laughs> theater, large open yes. format. I saw Mean Girls in 4DX, by the way. Sorry. <sighs> what is anyway. that like? <laughs> How does the seat move to them dancing? No, not 4DX. The other one. The large one? Yeah. Where it like wraps around? Yeah. It's not for like the whole movie, No, right? it Just... didn't wrap around at any point. Oh. No. I've seen like some movies like for like bigger scenes, it'll do all three screens yeah, no. and then it goes I don't there. know why. Why was it even in that I theater? know. I don't know. But this one was the first to do that thing with the 3D. Well, was another it... <laughs> remake could be the first for something else. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yeah, they, it's, and again, this is another one, $14 million budget from what I'm reading, made like $100 million, how did this not, they said, like, the reviews are really bad, I'm like, yeah, but people would have seen, fucking, they were putting out, look, you, the Bloody Valentine, uh, glasses you mm -hmm. have there, on the side, it says, go see Saul 6, October 23rd, 2009, like, Lionsgate, why were you just pumping out Saul movies, and you're like, Oh, we can't put out another My Bloody Valentine. It'll yeah. look bad. It's like, no, it's it's fun. Do another one. I felt like this one was filmed like it was like the fifth installment in a franchise. <laughs> but the first, the original just left me feeling kind of on edge, a little yeah. unnerved. And this one just, I was like, that was yeah. dumb. Again, it's another. No offense to your opinion. I don't care. It, it's it's a rare case of you win either way. Yeah. I'm win so either way. I like both. I'm going to watch both forever. Mm -hmm. Only I'm one in with three. Valentine. <laughs> for Valentine. These these are both better movies than Valentine. No! Yeah, these are both How way better movies you? than Valentine. No. You know it's a really bad Valentine's Day themed horror film. Mm. If you become a patron or channel member, me and Jess reviewed a movie called Cupid. Uh, it's I'm... about a killer Cupid. Killer Cupid. Okay. Like in Valentine. Yeah, it, it turns out when Valentine beats you to the punch 20 years early, you don't really have a lot to, it's, you don't really have a lot to work with. It's like, oh, this Cupid also shoots arrows. Like, okay. Yeah, I do think this, um, I think Valentine did take some inspiration, obviously, from My Bloody obviously, Valentine. Yeah, yeah. And, well, maybe they should still make that Valentine sequel with the guys that were beating oh, up Jeremy. Oh, yeah, we Instead of the girl, he's coming back. David Boreanaz. David Boreanaz is coming back. <laughs> um, no, the the Cupid. It's, so the the story is that it's the angel Cupid, but he was turned into a demon. Oh, and like the makeup effect is really bad. He looks like this. <laughs> so me and Jess were. Fucking, I haven't seen it. Me and Jess were fucking dying reviewing that movie. I've seen Blind. I feel like that's kind of like a Valentine's no. This, this movie is very low budget. <laughs> this movie is very low budget. Like shot in a school. Like a real school that they probably had access to and everyone was out. Uh, but yeah, so go to Patreon for that. That's probably up. And I hope you all have a happy Valentine's happy Day. Oh, wait, are we going to open these? Oh, yes. Sorry. Let's, let's, you know, let's end this on like a fun note. I got yes. these. These are at my local uh, theater. If you're hey. at, if you're at that <laughs> theater, check these out. Get out of here. So these are midnight movies, figure bags. Uh, I love it. they come with different monsters. Can I read who you can get in these? Yes. So in these, you have the, this is series one. They're gonna have more. Oh, so these are blind bags. I don't know if you're familiar with blind I bags. I love them. I, I gave you one. Nana. I gave was you in one. It. You gave me one. Wait, was it me? I gave you. Oh. No, I gave you an Annabelle one. And didn't I give you that? No. No. That horror one. No, I bought that for someone oh. else <laughs> on the show. Okay, yes, it was you who gave. It I to gave me. it to you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I have it. It's on my desk. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have these blind bags. Uh, I know back on the Godzilla podcast, we used to open up like Godzilla one. So the options you have here are Wednesday Adams, Teen Wolf. That's a good one. Hannibal, The Creeper Can't from get Jeepers over it. Creepers. Creeper. This is what caught my surprise. It's rare I see new pumpkin head merch. That's really cool. Carrie. Yes. The Candyman, but it's the remake Candyman. That's okay. I like that actor, but yeah. Me too. Ash from Army of Darkness. And then you have Daisy from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Okay, the Poltergeist one, I think it's it shows a uh, question mark over Poltergeist. Yeah. I think that's the hallway demon when the mom goes Ooh. into the room. That used to be my favorite. These are cool options. And then there's that's exclusive A, and then exclusive B <laughs> is something else from Killer Clowns nice. from Outer Space. So you want to open it up? Yes. Yeah, so this is my Valentine from Tony. Yes. I'm just going to call it that. <laughs> How do you open it? Just pull it apart. <laughs> Oh, Wednesday. 
Okay. It's a keychain. And I got yes, yes. No. I got pumpkin head. That's the one Are I you wanted. Are kidding me? I want a pumpkin head that so is bad. So cool. <laughs> that, <laughs> he's so excited. That is so cool. We got overly excited when we we wanted to open up the other two. Yeah. Okay. You I ready? love these things. I got Carrie. Oh, why is her <laughs> hair black? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's the remake, Carrie. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Daisy from Killer Clowns. Oh, she's cute. Is that the one Jess cosplayed as? I don't think so. Jess I mean, cosplayed, cosplayed as an insane, uh, insane. Jess cosplayed as a killer clown for Well, she's space. welcome to have her. Oh, that's fun. Oh, these are so fun. I love them. That was great. Anyway. That was fun. No creeper. It's okay. <sighs> we when tried. I, you know what theater I'm talking about. If you I go do. back there at some point. That's so fun they have that. It's right Good near the, yeah, new. No, I didn't notice them before. Good for them. Uh, yes. Have a great Valentine's Day. Let us know what one you like, which My Bloody Valentine you like, yes. and uh, we'll see you all later. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.